Jerry, good boy. Jerry, where'd you come from? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brianna Lenz and today we are going to be doing all the Halloween-y things. We're gonna be shopping for Halloween costumes. We are going to be doing uh, Halloween crafts, all the Halloween crafts, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So why don't you just hang out with me today while I have a list of at least 12 things that I need to do. And it is October 1st, so what a better way than to just hang out together and celebrate that it is the month of Halloween. Ah, I'm so excited and it's my birthday month, so. <laughs> here is my to-do list for today number one homeschool that's going to happen throughout the day i need to take bags to uh, my local consignment shop i need to get out my newsletter make sure i attach my free cross stitch powder and attach the video that i'm publishing today i need to publish my zipper bag tutorial video on YouTube. I have it uploaded. I just need to do all the final touches and, and publish it. I need to get out my Cricut and I have Halloween cups that I need to Cricut today as well as cut out some silhouettes for picture frames. I need to work on stitching my design for uh, that's coming out on Friday, October 4th. It's called Spooky Garden Party. I haven't been able to stitch on it because I my hands were just cramping but I think I'll be able to do it today. Um, I need to crochet with Fiona. We're practicing the single crochet and I need to teach her the half double crochet. We, I teach her crochet class in my local homeschool co-op. So I need to do that with her today. I've got gymnastics for my youngest daughter tonight. I need to do the social media about my post, um, publishing my video that my October newsletter went out today. And then I also need to talk about that I'm gonna be doing a YouTube live tomorrow. Um, I'm going to get to this and then I also have picture frames that I printed out free graphics from Graphic Fairy so I need to do that and get those uploaded, uploaded, inserted into my picture frames and then I need to feed my sourdough starter. Lastly is to vlog my day, edit and upload it so I can publish this video tomorrow. So the first thing, I have them numbered but really like I do this all out of order. It's just that it keeps me organized. Um, so I need to first, I'm gonna feed my sourdough starter because right now it's 9.45 in the morning. So I need to feed my sourdough starter. Then I want to go ahead and take my bags to my local consignment shop so that way I can go out and about and come back, start homeschool, which we're starting a little bit later today. And then um, probably get to work on getting my video out as well as my newsletter and doing cricket. So that's going to be today. Then gymnastics will be intermingled. And yeah, so I have these numbered, like I said, but it's not gonna go in this order. Yeah, so like I said, the first thing that I need to do is I need to feed my sourdough starter so that way that can rise during the day. So let's go. Okay, we are back home and I changed clothes. Earlier I was wearing home clothes and I'm in like my go into town clothes. And anyway, so yeah, so we dropped off our stuff and we found costumes. So we were all gonna be like Harry Potter themed costumes for Halloween and my Halloween party that I'm doing on Saturday. But like I said, my girls changed their minds. So we're all going to be like medieval maidens. And I found costumes for Jules and I, which I can't believe it. They are so pretty. And Fiona already has hers. I picked hers up at a Goodwill um, in one of the Goodwills in Tulsa. And you know what? I have been assured that I had a really good time going to all of, hold on, I'm vlogging. 
<laughs> I had a really good time going to all of the Goodwills in Tulsa a couple weekends ago with my girlfriends. And so I'm gonna share some of that footage here. And stop number one. So I was looking at this for the candles and then I'm trying to find the price tag and it says missing all candles. <laughs> have so many books. Just so many. I love these. All they need is their cork on top and I have corks at home. Okay, I'm getting both of these. I love it. I want to put my maple syrup in one. Do something with the other one. I love that. This Goodwill is amazing. I don't need this, but it's incredible. And it's in completely good working condition. Bucks. It's so heavy. I'm pretty sure this is homemade. It's too big for me, but it is cute. It even has like a little pocket. So yeah, so we went to every Goodwill in Tulsa and it was so, so, so much fun. And we dressed up as like 90s moms and I found a, a skirt that <laughs> had no pockets on the butt. So it was like very 90s and we wore like white teddies with like scrunched up white socks. It was so cute. Anyway, so yeah. So anyway, so we're going to go inside. We're going to do some homeschool. I'm going to make lunch and then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to tackle first. So let's go. So the girls are eating lunch and I am taking pictures for the thumbnail. This is the quilted zipper bag that I made and I love it. And then this is a little bit of a sneak peek at the cross stitch pattern that I'm gonna be releasing in my Etsy shop on Friday, October 4th. I love this. I dyed this fabric over the weekend and I think it turned out really pretty. Um, but this is really fun. These are all different fabrics from Joann's. It's their Halloween fabrics. And I, I'm teaching myself how to quilt. And so this was the first time that I did the sawtooth quilt block. And I think it's really fun. I just, I love the skeleton hands doing the peace sign and the metal sign. And I just, I don't know, I love it a lot. And this was my first time doing this quilt, quilt work. Like I've always wanted to do a quilted project bag. And so I'm very, very, very proud of this. And I just absolutely adore it. And I also made a tutorial on how to make this bag as well. So if that's something that you're interested in watching, um, I posted that October 1st. So go ahead and hit that link down below. And I am so excited to be working on this today. So I'm going to be working on 
um, like this is the first third of it and I'm going to be working on the second third of it and then uh, Wednesday, Thursday, the last third of it and then this will be out Friday. So I'm so like, this is so fun, you guys. This is a really fun stitch and it's only like approximately five by five or like 5.2 by 5.5 inches big and this is 28 28 count fabric that I dyed like purple oh my gosh this is really fun you guys are gonna really like it I hope at least because I love it so anyway so yeah so let's move on to our next task pandas petunias and polar bears the storms thistles and thorns but God has blessed us with beauty and a light to carry us through the storms beautiful well done All right, so we are a little bit later. I have published my video. So the quilting, quilted zipper bag tutorial video is published. I did my blog post over it. I have done all the things. Yay, I did my social media. So let's go check what I need to do and I am so ready to start my next project. The girls are doing homeschool. They've eaten lunch, they're eating snacks. Um, yeah, we have had them done. Well, blah, blah, blah. can I talk? Uh, the girls have done English so far and then they wanted a snack. So then I made some apple slices per their request. And now I get to do some fun stuff for a little bit. And then they get a little bit of a break. Fiona's doing math. Um, and then I'll do math with Jules, but let's, let's just see where we are on our to-do list. And I'm going to explain what I'm going to do. So let's see, I'm going to do this one handed homeschool. I can't check that off yet because we're not done. Did we take the bags to treasure trunk? Yes. October newsletter, not done. Publish zipper bag tutorial. Check. Cricut, haven't even started. Have not stitched, have not crocheted. I'm gonna crochet with Fiona at gymnastics. Social media, I have done, where am I at? I have done this, but I haven't done this yet. Um, vlog edit, that's tonight. Pick frames, that's what we're about to do. And I did feed the sourdough starter. Ooh, that felt good. Jules picked one of my mum flowers. So I thought, why don't I try to press it? So just gonna, I got this. Here, go back a little bit. I got this at a Goodwill recently, so. I don't know. Let's pick one in the middle. Just pick right here. Okay, so pick frames. I'm gonna um, insert some footage here, but just a real quick recap is I printed images off of graphicsfairy.com. It's, I'll link the, I'm gonna do a website post where, okay, so when this video is live tomorrow, which will be October 2nd, I will have this up as a post and I will have everything linked. Um, but I just took free images from Graphics Fairy, uh, vintage images, and I have, I couldn't get them to be like an eight by 10. And I have these um, picture frames on my wall. I redid my gallery wall and I need to put new photos in them. So I thought, well, since I need to put new photos in them anyway, why don't I put some Halloween pictures in it for the month of October? Cause that's fun. And then that kind of gives me some time to get the images that I want printed to be up there. Cause they're like eight by tens and stuff. 
So I have these three and I did another one, which you're going to see. And then I have this Halloween basics, uh, Halloween paper, which is really nice paper. And I got this from one of the Goodwills in Tulsa for $1.99. So since I couldn't get this to be a true eight by 10, I originally was going to do like black construction paper, which I might do because this might be too busy, but I was thinking I have this paper. So what if I use some of this paper, cut it down to size, and then I just like glued this on there and it'd be kind of fun and catch your eye for the month of October. Um, and so, yeah, I really like these. I think they're fun and they're different and that's what we are going to do. So we are going to just Halloweenify my entire house and I have wanted to do this kind of an idea for a while. So pick frames is one. And I think pick frames actually means two different things. One, I need to crook it two silhouettes for other picture frames, but this is this project. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I like this one. Be just this. Guy. Okay, so I picked out my three papers and I think they'll coordinate kind of cool. They're really different patterns and so it'll be kind of eye catching. I instantly wanted to put the black crow on black, but I actually think I want to do the crow on the purple and then. I want to do the cat on the black. And then, I, you can't see my face. Um, and then I want to do the vintage, yeah, I wanna do the vintage Halloween on the orange, I think. Or, that's a lot of orange. Maybe I should do the cat on the orange and then the vintage Halloween on the black. Yeah. Yeah, that's, we're gonna do that. Okay. It's decided. Jules, did you, what did you make? I made a violin! <laughs> this is the fiddler, and it does take that's because I accidentally cut it. And this is the violin. violin. All right, show us how you play it. Uh, so you basically can't make it have noise, but you can hum the tune you want. Okay, go ahead. Great imagination. Good job. Mm -hmm. High five. This is the finished product. I'm pretty happy. Like, are they perfectly centered? Maybe not, but they're pretty darn close. And if I had measured, I measured this one. If I had measured this one better, I would have been center, but oh well. Um, I'm really happy with them. They're gonna be out for, what, like 31 days. And I'm actually super pleased with them. So again, I will link to the Graphics Fairy and I will link with pictures in a tutorial um, on how to do this on my website. So this was so fun. I highly encourage you guys to do this. This was super cheap super cheap and if you don't have a color printer you can just do these in black and white like there's a whole bunch of like black and white kind of stuff that you can print out for halloween that's super cool so yeah this is done i'm gonna go ahead and check this off my list it is such a nice day outside we're gonna let the dogs out and have some outside time and just enjoy it's like weird like it feels like fall but it's not fall but it is fall kind of weather you know what i mean take a little bit of a break Everyone's brain is a little bit bright right now. 
and then we'll get back to it. And then I've got dinner and gymnastics. So we can do this. We're gonna keep going. I think after this, I should be able to pull out my cricket. I think so. I believe. I believe. We're gonna do it. Yes. Doggies! Come here, Steve-o. Steve-o. Come here, Steve-o. Oh, are you a good boy? Oh yeah, I forgot you're all wet. Susie! Susie! Ooh, there's my Susie. It is much later in the day. We had a great time outside. It is about 5.30. I am about to send my newsletter. It took me a while. You guys are awesome. I have so many people that are a part of my newsletter now that I actually had to bump up from my free plan to a paid plan, so thank you. Um, so if you are subscribed to my newsletter, you can look, well, what am I trying? Okay, if you are subscribed to my newsletter, make sure you check your inbox, your spam, whatever, because you have a free cross stitch pattern and it's a good one, you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for all your support. And, um, yeah, I like it. It's a good one. And so I'm getting used to the new format now that it's like the next level format and having to add links and stuff like that. So I'm excited to get this out. So now that I have my homework done, I get to play with the cricket once we get back from gymnastics. So I'm so happy to get this out. It was fun to make and I'm about to hit send. So if you haven't seen it already, go check your inbox. Jerry, where'd you come from? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What? All right, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And... I will see you guys in my next project and in my next video. Bye.